Those Minnesota Golden Gophers take on the Michigan Wolverines. Each team five and three on the season. Michigan three and one in the conference. Minnesota at one and three. Bernard Robinson, and will we see him today? Well, he's not going to play. You know, he didn't come as far as we thought. Uh, worked hard all week. He worked hard. Devin will be the quarterback. Got a lot of snaps from him this week. So, uh, you know, it's it's football, and uh, Denard's healing up, but it just didn't happen as quick as we wanted. Today's starting quarterback, Devin Gardner. Career numbers as a passer, 18 of 33, 261 yards. He is in there to start today with the injury to Denard Robinson. As Brady Holt told John Jansen, Denard will not play today. And I think defensively, Tracy Clays has to come up with some exotic pressure because you know Gardner's not battle-tested, and so you want to bring the heat and bring it on. Cross play to Tucson to the edge and chased out of bounds. Pretty good coverage out there by D.L. Wilhite. Second down. First pass for Gardner is complete to Jeremy Gallon. And he's short of the first down by about three yards. Chased out by Troy Studebein. Gardner in trouble. And he's sacked. Going to scramble. That Michigan defense fly into the football, and he's down at the 47. Craig Rowe again with the stop. An operative word being flying. It, it is a free flowing, fast defense in every layer. Nelson going to run again. And Nelson down close to a first down. He's about a half yard shy. Craig Rowe made sure he stayed a half yard short. Now a decision for Jerry Kim. Down and short. Kirkwood's carry. It's going to be very close. I'm not sure he got there. What a great push up front. Desmond Morgan came in to help out from linebacker spot. Michigan saying no. Minnesota saying yes. Luckily, there's guys in striped shirts that'll make the decision. Well, I'll tell you, that spot looked a little short from here. But, yeah. good, but good penetration up front. Only I would say to this Kevin on the play call, and I know Kirkwood is a big physical back. The first eight yards, ball right in between the 42 and 43 yard line. Gardner in trouble on the play fake. Throws on the run and it's intercepted. Cedric Thompson with the interception at the Michigan 49. Injured his ankle last week. Second and three. Again, the carry for Williams. And first down and a punishing run to the 25. 25 of Michigan. First down and 10. Play action. Nelson to throw. Christie for the first down. JT Floyd with the tackle. But Minnesota knocking on the door at the Wolverine 12-yard line. Proof Chris by 18 points per game allowed in the last two years. And a lot of it's been better communication, which they'll need down here in the red zone. Second down and 10 on the option. Williams. And a good job of stringing it out. JT Floyd making a nice tackle in the open field at the 10-yard line. And that is the final play of the first quarter here in Minneapolis of today. At the Michigan 10-yard line as we start this second quarter. Nelson throws back. Wide open is Beautifully designed play. Well executed. And Minnesota takes the lead with the touchdown pass from Nelson to John Ray. Against a defense that's very stingy inside the red zone. They've only allowed four TDs and 12 opponent red zone drives in the last six games. Wettstein with the extra point. It is good. And Minnesota takes a 7-0 lead. Rawls with a first down across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Studemeyer. 
with the tackle. And let's take a look at the auto owners and shirts earlier before he took that one to the house. <laughs> Second and ten from the 22-yard line. Toss play Rawls. Rawls with the corner. And Rawls with a first down for Michigan. Keenan Cooper finally caught it. And Rawls is able to get to the corner. He's in almost 75% of that offense. You expect other guys to step up. And that's not where Michigan wants him today. Gardner on first down on the play action. Gallon tackled immediately, but Gallon with a good gain of eight out to the 42. Cedric Thompson with the hit. Third down and one. Fits Toussaint in at running back. Play action. Now Gardner's just going to run. Gardner's got the first down. Gardner across midfield. And Michigan brings it out past the midfield stripe for the first time today. Troy Studemeyer with the knockout at the 48. You need it. Gardner with time. Nobody open though. Spinning to a tackle and planted by Rollis at the 43 yard line. Second and ten from the 38. Gardner with pressure. Roland Johnson, who's been playing with a sore ankle the last few weeks, gets the second sack for the Gophers today. Allowed just seven sacks this year. They were number one in the Big Ten. Two already today. Third and 17 from the 45. Gardner. Nobody open. Gardner. Dancing for extra time. Airing it deep. Wide open is Dillio. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Gardner buys the extra time. And Dillio with six points. A la Denard Robinson. Uh, look what I just found. The flag thrown at the end, likely going to go against Minnesota for the hit after the catch. There is no foul on the play. Touchdown. Never mind. Kevin, that was absolutely incredible by Gardner. Watch the field. He moves up, nothing there, slides to his right, but nothing there. So he comes all the way around, which buys time for his receiver to get loose in the back of the end zone. That is outstanding recognition in just making a play. And the extra point by Brendan Gibbons is good. 31. Williams. And Williams upended as he tried to turn the corner by Jake Ryan. That's a terrific play by a guy who has been so consistent and is very instinctive on this Michigan defense. Third down and 10. Nelson four for seven, 42 yards in the touchdown. On third down, and that one tipped and knocked away. Tremendous defensive play by JT Floyd. Just laying out to knock that ball away in his fourth down. It's good transition by Floyd, meaning coming out of his break. But this is a long throw. And you see the flight time of the ball. It allows the corner to recover. Devin Gardner, and there's your average starting field position. Good luck. First down and 11 from the nine-yard line. Gardner in trouble in the end zone. Got rid of it, and it's complete to Roundtree at the 25-yard line. Devin Gardner <laughs> seconds away from a safety. Instead, with a first down, Mel Market at the 26. And what were you saying about that field position on Mr. Gardner? He says, no worries. Watch how he gathers himself in the pocket, stands up tall, and delivers a strike. pressure again and the pass over the middle and it is caught a sliding catch by Gerald Robinson just his fifth catch of the year at the Michigan 48 yard line and I would say to put it in baseball terms that's like a double but he had a screaming post wide open in the center of the field but he couldn't get to it because of the pressure by Will Height six Gardner again to throw. 
And again with a completion. Devin Punches, the tight end with the first catch he's had today. Down to the 41, Studemeyer and Hill combined on the stop of the talented freshman tight end. Just with the football. Hasn't made any mistakes though. Third down and six. Gardner under pressure. Got away. Gardner with a first down for Michigan. And still out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Just a tremendous run by Devin Gardner. And I loved at the end, Chris. He could have gone out of bounds, but he tiptoed down the sideline for about six more. But just watch the improv. See, that's just feel. That's understanding that you're getting a reduced pocket. And now he gets outside and he allows his athleticism to take over. Gardner throws on the run. Dilio with the catch. Dilio close to another Michigan first down. Martez Shabazz knocks him out a yard shot. Nine yard line. Gardner gives to Toussaint. And Toussaint with a first down to the six. Second and goal from the four. Gardner throws on the run, incomplete. Threw it behind Devin Funches, his intended receiver. He had some heat on him, Chris. Was he going to throw that, or was he going to run that until the heat showed up? Third down and goal from the four. Funches, the motion man to the bottom of the screen. Gardner looking that direction on the fade, and the pass incomplete, and there's a flag. Martez Shabazz was the man in coverage, but a pass interference call is going to go against the Gophers. From the two-yard line for Michigan, Rawls the carry, and Rawls reaching across for the touchdown. One thing Rawls can do is pound the football. He gets squared up, extends, gets the ball over. Touchdown, Michigan. So Rawls with the rushing touchdown, his third rushing touchdown this season. And Brendan Gibbons on for the extra point. And the crowd here in Minnesota was not happy. A, that they scored, and B, that they scored after that penalty that this crowd and their coach did not like here in Minneapolis. Fourth down. Nelson takes the snap. And on the option, Keith, he's got the first down. Kirkwood. And there's Ryan. No pitch to worry about that time, and he throws him for a loss. Boy, he's everywhere. But you do want to catch a win, and that would be a nice birthday present. Second and 11 from the 14. On the reverse, Ray trying to find some main rather right? trying to find some running room, and he's down to the 20-yard line. Loss on the play, Jake Ryan on the tackle, and nowhere to go from K.J. May as he loses yardage. And to me, this is just too cute. I mean, there's no reason. We're going to see Ryan come up here and wall off things, but there's no reason to be cute here. You know, you talked about taking a shot. Watch how he fights down the line. Look at that. I mean, that is athleticism. He's able to hold off the blocker while identifying where the back is, slide off the block and make the play. Yeah, Philip Nelson was the intended blocker there. I say intended because he really didn't throw much of a block. <laughs> sort of a pick. Third and 17. Nelson stepping up, throwing for the end zone, and nobody there. Looking for K.J. May, Thomas Gordon was out there on the coverage. The Minnesota fans arguing there should be a flag. So now a field goal try, and it's a fake, and they toss it out to Nelson, and Nelson's going to be well short of the first down. We told you earlier that Wettstein last year against Wisconsin scored a touchdown. This time the toss to Nelson on the fake, and it goes very, well, frankly, nowhere. And Minnesota gives it up. With the nod at quarterback, his first career start. And Gardner looking deep down the sidelines for Roundtree, and there's a flag. The flag going against Michael Carter, or is it going against Roundtree? Let's see. Well, they may nail Carter here on this one for pass interference. There was a lot of bumping. But 
Offsides. There's one flag at the line of scrimmage and a flag in the backfield. Both are going to go against Minnesota. Wow. Toussaint. Toussaint with a good, strong run to get the first down for Michigan to the 10 yard line. Second and goal from the 10. Gardner. Nobody open. Gardner in trouble and he just floats it away. And Gardner at the very last second threw that ball out of bounds. And it's going to start with that front four. Dilio and Roundtree at the top of your screen. Gardner looking down for Gallon in the end zone. Leaping up. Gallon. Does he make the catch? He does. It's a touchdown. the extra point. Gibbons' kick is good. And with 5.05 remaining in the third quarter, Devin Gardner has done it again. He leads Michigan down the field. 21 unanswered points. Michigan with a 21-7 lead over Minnesota. Repeated theme in Iowa City. Third down and 10. For Minnesota at the Michigan 45. Pressure coming over the middle. It's caught first down and more. Inside the 20. Inside the 15. And a first down at the Michigan 13 yard line for Derek Engel. Jordan Kovacs on the tackle. Nelson going to throw for the end zone. A little too tall for Marquise Gray. And there's a flag. And it's going to be pass interference against Michigan. And that's the play that I wanted to play before. When Up the middle. Not a lot of running room for Kirkwood. Kenny Demons fills the hole quickly. No gain for Kirkwood. Goal from the three-yard line. Minnesota trying to march one in. Nelson on the keep, and he's not going to get away from Jake Ryan. He's played another great game today, has Ryan, and he throws Nelson for a one-yard loss. Just getting easier. Nelson to throw over the middle. It's deflected and almost intercepted. Desmond Morgan had his hands on it. He thought he should have picked it. He's frustrated, but he knocked it down, and it's fourth down. The quarterback's eyes will take you to the ball every time. And watch how he just reads Nelson's eyes and then makes the break on the ball. Should have picked it. Gets in that passing lane. Pretty nice play by Desmond Morgan. So now Minnesota to try a 27-yard field goal attempt. And the kick is good. So Jordan Wettstein puts the Gophers back on the board. But they had it at the three-yard line, and they went backwards and settled for a field goal. A 21-10 ball game. Second down and eight. Gardner, gonna run, hit hard, and Gardner down near the 39-yard line. Mike Rollis with the hit of Gardner. Too big for Bellamy last week. It doesn't appear to be that way for Devin Doug. Third and five, Gardner eludes the pressure, throwing on the run, and a great catch by Dilio at midfield. That ball had a little heat on it, and it was behind him, and he made a great catch behind him. From midfield on first down, play action. Gardner going to throw, looking downfield, and it is caught inside the five at the two-yard line. They're calling it a catch, and a great play by Roundtree. It'll be first and goal, Michigan. <laughs> 48 yards as Roundtree in traffic made the grab. Well, 12 was working for 21. 21's working for 12. I mean, they are on one accord here. Watch how he bodies him. Good adjustment to fight off the defensive back. Play action. Gardner chase. Gardner running. And Gardner leading. And he's in for the touchdown. The lead as he gets six more for Michigan. The lane and the lane. Yeah! When you're 6'4", 
big quarterback able to stretch and extend. Good job of paying it off with Gardner. See, look at the effort and the length to reach out. That is just refusing to be denied. Knows the contact's coming. Heady play. Gets a little help from his teammates. Was that ball coming loose as he reached it out before he broke the plane? I think he had control when he broke the plane. And the ball may have dislodged and hit the ground. They looked at it. It was a touchdown. No issues at all. The extra point is good. And Michigan has the 28 to 10 lead on this scramble touchdown. But a star of the day for the Wolverines. Quarterback Devin Gardner. Down and three for Minnesota. They're one for three on fourth down today. And now they are two for four. Marquise Gray with the catch to the 45 yard line of Michigan. Nice play. Nice pass from Nelson DeGray. Kirkwood on a block downfield and a first down to the 13-yard line. A pickup of 13 for Kirkwood. Kenny Demons on the stop. Play action. Nelson's going to keep it. And Nelson's going to be stopped well short. Terrifically defended by Raymond Taylor, who was not at all fooled by the fake. Rave the motion man. Nelson to throw for the end zone. A lot of traffic out there in the pass incomplete. He was looking for Drew Goodger, his tight end in the back of the end zone. Thomas Gordon, one of the many Wolverines out there in coverage. Nelson, the fade for Gray, and the jump ball is incomplete. Coverage from Taylor, and it's fourth down. Good job by Taylor. You know, you're going to get two routes down. You're going to get a fade, what you get here, or a slant, typically to bigger receivers. It's a pretty good play. Jump balls, remember, folks, all timing. Some fans grumbling in the stands, but that looked like a pretty good no call there, Chris. Yeah, I would agree. So now a field goal try of 19 yards for Wettstein. And the kick by Wettstein is good. And Minnesota puts three on the board with 5.17 to play in the fourth quarter. Formation lined up in a very interesting way for Minnesota. What one would expect would be an onside kick. And it will be. And it's recovered by Gallon with little or no flourish for Michigan. And the Wolverines are going to get the football back. The back at the top of the eye. They'll get the carry. And Fitzgerald Toussaint fighting through a couple of tackles down the Minnesota 44-yard line. On second down, Toussaint again. And Toussaint tackled by James Manuel is short of the 40-yard line and short of the first down. Denard Robinson, no question. Third and short. Toussaint again upended by Derek Well. Exotic pressure, and it was just hard for Bellamy to figure out where it was coming from. Fourth down and short. Toussaint the carry again, and a first down and more as Toussaint breaks free, and he's into the clear for the touchdown. The icing on the cake for the Michigan Wolverines as Fitz Toussaint scoots in for six. Yep. When I say he's a straight line guy, this is what I mean. Look, he gets down in the traffic. Good balance here. Put the hand down. Not a whole lot of moves, but explosive straight ahead. And he's a track guy, so you know you're not going to catch him. Gibbons on for the extra point. And it hits the upright and is no good. A flag, though, is on the field, and it's going to be against Minnesota. Be because he is a staunch disciplinarian, and he knows there was a lot of mental breakdowns today. Gibbons good this time on the extra point. And Jerry Hill. 
Second down. Glass outside. The ball knocked loose. Scooped up by Michigan. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Courtney Avery had a chance for six, but the sideline caught him. Michigan, though, forcing the turnover. And it'll belong to the Wolverines. With Michigan State, one win still for bowl eligibility. Yeah, and I think Nelson's going to learn a lot from this game. You know, good and bad. These are valuable snaps. He's learning on the go. Michigan, 15-0 under Brady Hoke when scoring 20 points or more. They've done it again today. Final snap of the day. Williams with the carry for Minnesota. And a first down for the Gophers to the 32-yard line. And that is it. And the little brown jug is staying in Ann Arbor as the Michigan Wolverines will take it back home. A proud moment. They went out and earned it today. Got after it on both sides of the ball. Offensively sound, defensively very well, Kevin. And two coaches with a ton of respect for each other there, Brady Hoke and Jerry Kill. They met up a lot when each were working their way up. And a lot of respect for the job that both of them have done today. That's it from Minneapolis. Our final score, Michigan 35, Minnesota 13.